Uh, so how do you choose when it comes to transport? How you're going to get somewhere? Do you use an application? I use Move It. Move It. M O O V I T. Move It. I use Move It. Um, I so because I'm always I'm always getting lost. So I use Move It. Does anybody else use anything else? I use Move It, and I also use Google. Um, so Google Maps. You use Google Maps. Okay. Has anyone else, uh, anybody else normally use? I use TripAdvisor, but it is for choosing restaurants. But for distance and the cost of how long it takes to get there, movement, move it, and Google Maps. I also use Uber. I also use Uber with the pandemic. So what are the advantages of move it compared to Google Maps? I think move it is more practical. It shows you the buses, many bus examples, uh, options. It shows me the metro. It says car. Um, you know, if I can walk, it'll tell me that too. I think when you look on Google Maps, I get kind of lost. You know, I, I don't know if I'm don't know enough, but I think Move It is more practically better. Do you guys agree? I see Move It. Uh, I see what my route is. And but I'm always getting lost, so I I have to use both together, Move It and Google Maps. Otherwise, I'll get lost. On movement, I will find out which bus I'm gonna take. But in order to find out where I am and where I'm supposed to go, how to find the bus stop, I use I use Move It to find out which bus I should take. And for Google. I, I, I use Google to find the bus stop uh, because I need to find the reference point that Move It told me. So that that's why I use Google Maps. So what is the role of Google? So uh, the benefit is that it has um, instant uh, location. Move It does that, doesn't do that, they do, but Google I think it's better. I don't know if it's the resources that it uses or the fact that it's a much bigger company. I think the Google resources are much better for these types of things. It's more precise. You know, uh, perhaps Move It doesn't have so much precision. You know, it'll tell you the time and sometimes it already went by uh, or it gives you a time and it's late. Um, okay, sustainability, has it at any time uh, played a role in your, what transportation you're going to use? Has sustainability been a point, uh, has, has it been a factor when it comes to this? I think depending on the distance, if you can walk, I think you are going to emit less um, pollutants. You know, if you're on a car, uh, you know, if you're walking for 20 minutes or if you're going to, you know, take public transportation, you're going to emit less pollutants. Or, Mateos, can you hear us? Good, great. Um, so I think it started raining here and the internet had a problem. So when you are taking um do you always take the same when you're traveling do you use these applications to do the same the, go to the same place i it, so for example when it rains uh everything stops in sao paulo so I had the same problem. Uh, you know, I would always have to look at the, I would always leave at the same day, at the same time, same day. But I always have to check the app to make sure that I am, uh, that I'm able to get uh, my bus. You know, there's always like, you know, accidents, there are protests and things like that. You know, um, maybe I'll, I'll end up the, uh, the car that I'm in, the Uber or the 
uh, bus will have to go around.